I want to talk a little bit, not a whole lot, because I want to save it for Friday, but a little bit about the Leo energy that's coming in with the new moon on Sunday the 8th. We're going to start experiencing that new moon Leo energy probably around Thursday evening, Friday, moving on into Sunday as it grows really, really strong. And then we're going to continue feeling that energy into next Monday and Tuesday as it starts dying down a little bit. But what does that Leo energy bring with it? What does it focus on? And this month it's going to focus on your passions. Just like I said yesterday, what did I talk about? Who are you? What do you want to do? What gets you up in the morning? What is it? What is that thing inside of you that you're just naturally amazing at? What is your passion? It's time to really explore the depths of who you are and what you do best and what you want to be. Let those passions ignite your focus on moving forward into those things. Oh my gosh, I wish I could wipe away all the doubt in your mind. All the doubt that you have. I know that you've been around people that have made you feel like you could never achieve anything. Hmm. They have, they have made you feel like there's no way you could ever accomplish your dreams. You could never bring those to life. They've made you feel unworthy of certain things. Those people were more afraid of what you could achieve. And that's why they put that doubt in your mind. Because they know that you can achieve far more than what you believe that you can. So they had to create that doubt because they're afraid of how much you can actually accomplish. It's time to put all that fear and all that doubt where it belongs. In the trash. In the trash. Throw it away. It's not needed. It's not necessary. We're not taking that with us on this journey forward. It's time to really explore what are you really truly passionate about. And I feel a lot of people out there are mixed up. Like they're so confused. They don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know where their passions really are. And I do get that question a lot. Uh, people come to me for readings and asking, you know, what direction should I go? What direction do you feel pulled in? Where do you feel your best? What are you doing? It's a very simple thing. When you feel your absolutely best, like you are on it. Like there's no stopping you. Like, God, I am just so good at this. Whatever this may be. Is it baking? Is it creating something? Is it something to do with electronics and computers? Is it programming? Is it gardening or healing people or just listening to other people is it giving advice is it building is it carpentry there's so many things in the world what is it that you are really good at naturally expand on that when do you feel your best what are you doing when you feel like i've got this like you don't even need to think about it it's like you know it like the back of your hand what are those things? What are those things? Because if you have to force it, let's be honest. If you have to force it, it's probably shit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that anymore. We don't want to have to force anything. What comes naturally to you? Write it down. Pay attention to those things. When you're feeling your absolute best, like you're on top of whatever it may be. And then expand on that. Research further into those things. And you're going to find yourself a whole different person in a whole new life. I promise. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. Yes, you do. Get outside, touch the earth, cleanse your space. Come here. Come here. Right now. You know. You know what to do. I know you've been avoiding it. I know you haven't been doing it, but you need to do it. And remember this, Wyatt, a wolf, baby, and spirit, we're sending you unconditional love. Mwah.